Hi guys, I'm Gavin Richter. And I'm Sean Richter. And we are going to be telling you how we made this limb. In fact, this is not from a store. We made this ourselves. So, you, so we're going to teach you how to do it right now. All right. So this was not our original idea. We've seen this done by other people on Facebook and Twitter. If you do a Google image search for action figure lamp, you'll find all kinds of different examples of people doing the same thing. Uh, you'll get some ideas from ours, hopefully, and from others, and hopefully you try it at home. And we want ours to be more organized because a lot of a lot of people just stack them up, like in the movie World War Z, where there's all the zombies climbing on top of each other. But they just stack them up. We wanted ours to be more organized, so it's not like heroes and villains. God, I wish we're not gonna be going to. Anyways, so you can start. we didn't want it to be heroes and villains and DC and Marvel and all the other stuff. We just wanted it to be something specific, so we did Marvel. Yep, so what we did was we pulled out a bunch of action figures and tried to decide, okay, which ones are we going to use? And pretty quickly we figured out that like an Avengers type theme um, would work the best for the figures that we had. So why don't you tell the people at home which figures we wound up using? So we wound up using Wolverine, Captain America, Nick Fury, uh, Thor, Hulk, Hulkbuster, um, which happily they're not next to each other. And we have War Machine and Spidey. Yep. So those are the ones that we chose. So what we started with uh, at the beginning was the first thing is to pick out a lamp. And that's very important. Um, it obviously has to accommodate the figures that you're going to use. Now we went with six inch figures because we wanted something more substantial. You could also go with three and three quarter inch figures which are much smaller if you have a smaller lamp. Uh, but we wanted to use bigger figures. So the lamp that we bought it was about 30 bucks at uh, Target. Um, has a nice high uh, lampshade that's out of the way of the figures. It's got a pull chain here that you can still use. It's out of the way. And uh, the biggest problem with it though is it had a base. But it was too small. It was like five inches. Yeah. And we have six inch figures so if you're lucky you'd fit three figures on the base. So we went to Michael's and we got this wooden base but it's about eight inches and it gave us some more room. Yep, so what you're looking at here is six inch figures on an eight inch diameter base, just to give you an idea. So once we had that, we started with construction. So the first step was to take the lamp, set it in the middle of the wooden base, and then and trace mark it, it with, with a pencil. pencil. Yeah, and then once we did that, we hot glued inside the circle and then we put it on. Now normally, yep, hot glue gun. Same thing that we used. But anyways, usually hot glue dries very fast, but you can never be too careful. So we waited like 30 minutes for it to dry. Yep. So once we had the lamp glued to the base, the next step was to get our figures on there. Now we had, originally we had more figures than this um, because we weren't sure how we wanted to arrange things. Venom was one of them and my first concept was um, almost just like this, but Venom was like right here and it was supposed to be like Venom jumping at Spidey right there. Yeah, but we couldn't really figure out a way to incorporate him or attach him, so Venom So didn't sadly, make the cut. He, yeah, he didn't make the cut. Yep. But we still sprayed him gold and he still looks really cool. Yep. Like you can see in a picture somewhere around here. I didn't take a picture of him because he's not on the lamp, so you won't see a picture. Aww. So, we started arranging our figures on the base. Um, what the, the important thing for arranging the figures is you have a power cord that comes out of the base of the lamp, which is going to be, when you display the lamp, is going to be in the back. You wouldn't have that coming out the front. And it's right about behind four. Yep. So. Where this is going to go, it's going to be in Gavin's bedroom up on an end table up against the wall. So the way it'll be displayed, there'll be a wall right here basically and the lamp will be facing toward the camera where you are. And so we had to take that into consideration that the main viewing angle in the room of the lamp would be looking this way. So we kind of wanted, the way we arranged it was all the figures except Hulk who's in the back are kind of facing out this way. Yeah, and we, and we were kind of, go, kind of going for an Age of Ultron scene where they're all in the church fighting and like the end credit scene where there's the big statue. Yep. So once we got everybody kind of where we figured we'd want to have them, um, the, the one problem we were running into was Thor here. We really wanted to have Thor. Yeah, but he was the same height as Nick Fury in the movie. He wasn't really the same height, plus you couldn't really see Thor. So we got this eight, uh, five eighths, five eighths thick. of an inch thick. Wait a minute. Five eighths of an inch thick. And it's just this crop foam, yeah. And it's right under Thor and it makes him higher and now you can see him. Yep, there you go. So once we had that design, we glued the craft foam to the base and then we started gluing the figures on. Again, only using the hot glue gun. Now what I did for almost all the figures was I just took the figure off, 
put a glob of hot glue on both feet, stick it down, the hot glue dries and we, really quick. And as you can see in a picture somewhere around here, you can see that we like did it, the glue, the glue sloppy. And if you have a really good eye, you can probably see it right now. But anyways, we, 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 made, we purposely did it that way to make it look like it was welded together. And I think it looked really good once spray painted. And one thing that we did was when, when, when we had them all like this, we thought like at the same time, heck, it would be cool just to keep it this way. All the figures, the color, and then he spray painted like when, I think it was Hulk first, and then because he's in the back, you wouldn't see him if we changed our mind. And we're like, nope, and then we just spray painted the whole thing, and it looks really cool. And yep. we took the lampshade off, and then we spray painted it. So Gavin's getting a little ahead of himself here, but that's okay, he does that. So you glue the figures down. Now a couple of the different things that we did, like I said, most of the figures just glue on the feet and stick them down. Um, as you can probably see right here, this is War Machine. And just to do something different, we've got him stepping off of the lamp base and onto the table. So he's only held on by one foot being hot glued to the base. Um, the other thing that's a little bit different is Nick Fury and Thor here. To give them a little added stability, we put a glob of glue on between the post and, and Thor's, Thor's chest and Nick Fury's back. Yeah, so their feet are glued down and they're glued horizontally to the shaft of the lamp. And also, Nick Fury used to have just dinky pistol, but we went, it's like in the same box that we got all these figures, we got a machine gun for them to make them look slightly cooler. Yep. So once you had them all glued down, we let it sit for like 30 minutes just to be sure. Hot glue dries really fast. But uh, again, before we pick up the lamp and move it outside to spray paint it, we wanted to make darn sure that it was dry and, and stable. Um, then we took it outside, took the lampshade off. We used Krylon metallic gold paint from Michaels and sprayed all the figures. Um, I'm not going to ramble on about spray painting, but a few quick tips. Shake the can for one or two minutes when you first start to mix up the paint really good. Hold the spray can 8 to 12 inches away. Don't do it right close because then it nope. might come out terrible and it would look like they're sweating gold. If you, if you get the can too close or if you hold it in one spot too long while it's spraying, you'll gloop, glop it on, gloop it on. It's not even a word, but you know what I mean. And uh, it'll make a big sticky mess. And also sometimes if you don't, if you put it on too thick, it will literally never dry and it'll stay real sticky and tacky. So keep it back eight to 10 inches, keep it moving. You're not gonna paint it all in one shot. Leave like 30 minutes between coats. Do five or six light coats um, and be patient. That's the biggest thing. Yawning, are you yawning in the middle of the video? No, I'm not oh, yawning. Okay. Once we had everything painted, we let it sit for a couple more hours outside in the breeze just to be sure. And then we put it all back together and there you have it. So that's everything that we did right there. Maybe we inspired you to make one. And yep. hope you hope you like this video. Maybe we could do that this video do at least 300 thumbs up and that would be one, awesome. Two. Three, four, and the rest is up to you. Thanks for watching.